Uh, hey, I'm Vinay. I'm uh, the founder of uh, Alpha Bay, a virtual incubator based in India. Um, my message to the world would be uh, empathize because I believe empathy is the code for everything, be it business life, family life, personal life, empathy is a code. Sweet. Take talk. Let's talk. This is the Mitin Shah Show. We've asked the same seven questions to entrepreneurs from all over the world to figure out what makes us tick. Take talk. Let's talk. Vinay, thank you very much for doing this. You're welcome. Uh, Vinay, where are you from? And if you had to explain what your business does to a six-year-old child, what would you say? I'm from Kerala, down south in India. And uh, uh, if I were to explain what I do, uh, there are a lot of businessmen around who make money. Mm -hmm. There are different things that a person needs to do a business well. One is knowledge about the business. Two is money to invest in the business. And three is general experience of running a business. So what I do is I have two and three, luckily due to several factors, and I find people who have just one, which is the knowledge about the business, and I invest money in them, and I give them advice from my experience, so that together we can build a big business. So you give them money and tricks? Pretty much. Yeah, sweet, yeah. nice. Uh, what got you started on this journey? So I I loved entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Then I set up a few companies which grew exceptionally well, and then either stagnated or went bust after three, four years. Then I went to business school after eight years of uh, being an entrepreneur. And I realized that entrepreneurial skill is more rare than managerial skills, which help you scale a company. Hmm. And I realized my competency is in building companies. Mm -hmm. So there is a limit to the number of companies I can build myself. Mm -hmm. So I help use leverage my entrepreneurial skills to have other people run companies which I can help them with. So you support companies from that zero to one stage or from the one to the end stage? Zero. Zero to one. So uh, Alpha Bay, my uh, incubator, uh -huh. uh, starts at the ideation stage. Okay. As early as it can get. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Um, tell me some of the things that keep you up at night and on the flip side, what makes you jump out of bed in the morning? So, um, that happens very often. Uh, whenever I feel, for some reason at night, I end up being able to think without any disturbance whatsoever. So any idea or any solution to any day-to-day -day problem that any of the portfolio portfolio companies are facing ends up keeping me up at night. Oh yeah, so whatever keeps your portfolio company founders up at night probably keeps you up at night as well. Probably. Yeah. probably and probably. having so many portfolio companies, it'll probably be a lot more. Yes. Yeah. So that or happens. compounded. Okay. That happens. What wakes me up every day? My kids. They, okay. I wake up every morning essentially to see them before they go to school. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Very sweet. Um, what do you know now that you wish you knew when you started? Um, a couple of things. One, uh, failure is fine. You just need to pull the plug. Don't need to be scared of uh, pulling the plug and escalating losses. Mm -hmm. um, cash flow is most important, most critical. You, yes, of course, have your have the larger picture in mind, have the larger vision in mind, but. Uh, don't lose sight of the cash flow because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you won't survive long enough to achieve the vision. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned about mistakes. If you can share some of these mistakes that others can learn from. There have been lots. Uh, to start with, um, uh, never trust a single buyer company or never set up a company uh, that relies on a single buyer. Mm -hmm. Uh, never lose focus on the business because of some media hype and a lot of visibility that you get mm -hmm. because the execution is most critical mm -hmm. 
by the end of the day all the visibility means nothing if you cannot take a business forward however well it initially starts out um yeah so these are the, the latter is a problem i see in a lot of startups that i invest in mm-hmm. if they get a little bit of visibility that's what they follow they keep uh going after the visibility mm-hmm. the media hype the attention and all that then they com- compromise on the actual yeah. execution of the idea don't forget on cash flow because of media hype yeah, yeah. Exactly. and that happens quite a few Very times often. yeah <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the moments in your business life that you're most proud happy satisfied content with um one yeah it 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 is very satisfying fulfilling to see um uh, founders being able to run companies which they otherwise found very difficult to initiate mm-hmm. because of the support that we provide oh yeah uh in i also operate a lot in the mining space mm-hmm. and in that space i've been able to bring in a lot of difference that had as in a lot of things which were fully new i pioneered a lot of initiatives in the mining space okay where i come from okay and uh, actually impacted quite a lot of lives okay uh the ecosystem around my mining operations are actually uh thriving a lot better than where you see what mm-hmm. you see around other mining operations mm-hmm. uh, in our region mm-hmm. very happy about that as well okay sweet um Tell me so the Tim Ferris question if you had a billboard and you could put out a message to humanity what would that message be empathize because i believe it helps in every context in life be it family life be it understanding your children be it understanding business associates customers vendors in actually you could say love you could say care and all that but with empathy everything else comes as this nice. empathy is yeah cool. with empathy everything else comes that's yeah. that's the sweet uh, how has eo made a difference in your business personal family or community life well we just set up the chapter about less than a year back 8 uh, months back so probably a little too early to say that but for now it's a very fulfilling feeling to to see people engaging with the chapter and that i was able to initiate so that's a very fulfilling feeling and i'm hoping 20 years later when us founders look back we get to the the pride in seeing our legacy being taken forward uh, is a lot more than just being another eo member so i think that's what that's what i'm looking forward to and i'm pretty sure other founding members are also looking forward to the same awesome thank you very much you're welcome pleasure